Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you some of our tools in the Adobe Fresco workspace. Let's go ahead and get started by opening the Adobe Fresco app. To get signed in I have to use continue with Google, hit continue, Okay, so this first screen that you see when you get logged in, this is called Adobe Fresco's home screen. You'll need to know the home screen because sometimes I may ask to see the last thing you've made and you can find all your recent designs on the home screen. The home screen is also um, part of the sign out process. So let's go ahead and open up a new document. I'm gonna select you can select from these options where it says custom size, square, current size, comic book. I already have a blank one down here, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. On the left side of our screen, I will just go through some of our tools. So on the left side, this first one, this is called a pixel brush. The pixel brush is great because it imitates actual drawing materials. So let's pretend we're using charcoal and so it shows different drawing materials. I'm gonna undo. The next brush on the left side, this is called a live brush. The live brush imitates actual paint. So you can see here I can do watercolor or oil paint. I think the watercolor live brush is really fun to use. I'll, just, I'll change color over here on the left side. And that's a pretty nice color. And I can change my brush size down here as well, make it much larger. I'm gonna adjust my I'm going to adjust my flow. This because it's watercolor. We have the ability to adjust the flow. So because the live brush imitates a real paintbrush and real paint that you would use on paper or canvas. It has different settings you can adjust and play around with. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer, or I'm gonna clear, clear the layer. There we go. The next brush we have is the vector brush. One of my favorite things about the vector brush is the ability to color really specific parts of my painting. The live brush is great. Um, it does. It comes with some challenges when it comes to adding color and making changes later on if you change your mind about something. So I'm gonna, so the vector brush is pretty neat. Uh, it's a great way to get some crisp edges and have a lot more control in what you're making. And of course you can come here and, you know, change the shape and the style of the brush. So this third one is called the vector brush. Of course, we have our eraser tool here under the vector brush, so I can go ahead and erase something that I don't like. Oh, the smudge tool. The smudge is a great one to use with the pixel brush. So let's pretend I make, I'm just making this beautiful scribble here. I can take the smudge tool and go over it and make it look like I took my finger and smudged the marks I made. Underneath smudge, we have something called the move tool right here. It's called move transform. It allows me to change the size of something I made. I can move it to somewhere else on the canvas. It's a pretty neat little tool. I'll just hit done. Ooh, the lasso. The lasso is a great tool. How about I go ahead, I'm gonna skip the lasso for now. The lasso is great for making selections, moving things, coloring in. But before I do all that, I want to spend a moment with the fill tool. I'm gonna fill up the background. I'm gonna fill a layer really quickly. So the fill is great to just fill a large space very quickly with solid color. I want to go back and use the vector brush. 
I can change my color down here really easily. I'm gonna make something with leaves. So on a new layer, I'm gonna start drawing leaf shapes. See, I don't really like how that turned out, so I'm gonna hit the undo button at the top. And that one I don't like either. You know, I don't even really like those other ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my fill tool one more time to fill in some of these larger spaces with more color. Um, I want this color for this one. I'll select my vector brush one more time. Oh, let's pretend, here, let's pretend I'm gonna color this in and I'll do an okay job of coloring it in. Cause I wanna show you some of the things I like to use the lasso for. So with the lasso tool, we use it to select and we can move things as well. But first I wanna show you how to select it, how to make a selection with the lasso and then use it to color something in. So I really like this section here. So when I make this selection and I go to color in, select my vector brush, it stays within the lines. We call those dashed lines, we call those marching ants. So hit deselect. And one more thing I could do is I could also just select this, you know, have the fill tool, fill it in, deselect. Something else I can do with this lasso I can make a selection like this. Let's say, oh, you know, I really like this thing I made, but I want to move it. I make my selection, I hit transform, and I can move it somewhere else in my picture. So the lasso is great for that. I'll hit done, deselect. The eyedropper is great for color matching. So when I select the eyedropper tool, let's say I want to use this uh, background purple again. I can do that pretty easily with that eyedropper tool. I select the color I want, and then I move back to my vector brush, and I can come to my leaf and make a few details. Like that. The vector brush does go off the edge of your document. Just know that that's normal, but I don't see it when you turn in your work. I won't see things on the edge of your document. To rename your document, you go up here and you can click it and type something in. I'll get my keyboard and hit purple plants. That's how you rename it. Again, these are your undo and redo buttons. Up here, we'll definitely use this export button when it comes to turning in work. So it's very important that you know how to where that export button is. You saw me add new layers over here with this plus sign. That's how you add new layers. Digital art, the best thing we can do is have things on separate layers. We can always put them all together on one layer, but once we put some multiple things on one layer, it's much harder to, to um, make adjustments later on if we change our minds. Everything right here, these are called your layers. So I've got a layer with my background. I have this layer that I was just messing around with. I'm gonna delete it for now. And I can always change the order of my layers like this. And down here we have our ruler tool, which is great for drawing horizontal lines or vertical lines. It helps us draw nice straight lines. I'm not gonna use it in this picture. And if I click this and hold, it gives me different drawing aids, like I could draw a circle, and I have to click it again to turn that off, or I could draw a square. Also lets me adjust the size here. Like that. Hit done. 
Now, I don't really need circles and squares in this picture. I like it just with my leaves. So I'm gonna hit undo. And that, there you have it. We have a basic introduction to some of our tools in Adobe Fresco.